Hey guys, I'm here today to talk to you about no ethanol gas. I always keep at least 10 gallons of no ethanol gas at the house, and that is the only type of gas I run in anything that's carbureted, which is a motorcycle, the lawnmower, the weed eater. And it costs a little more, but why do I do that? You can leave no ethanol gas in your car, in your bike, in your mower, a very long time and it's not going to break down. For example, this motorcycle has been sitting here February, March, April, May, June, July, six months. I haven't turned it over, I haven't cranked it. It's plugged in to the charger, but that's it. This is full of no ethanol gas. I guarantee you, even after sitting for six months, this bike is going to start right up. No problems whatsoever. And also what's bad about at 10% ethanol gas, which is you get at most gas pumps these days, you get seven to 8% worse miles per gallon with that 10% ethanol. So if you fill up at the pump, you get the regular 10% ethanol gas, you get seven to 8% worse fuel efficiency out of that gas. On top of that, if you're putting E85 in your car, you're getting 25% worse gas mileage. A lot of people don't know that. People think, oh, E85, I love it. It's cheaper. It's saving me money. That E85, you're getting three-fourths of the miles per gallon that you would with no ethanol gas. So enough about ethanol gas. If you can afford it, I recommend you only use no ethanol gas in everything. If you're using the 10% ethanol, it's fine to use in your car as long as you're driving it a lot. You're not letting it sit there. Another thing about 10% ethanol gas is that ethanol gas, it attracts moisture and water and it starts to break down. If you, if you leave the gas in any of your vehicles, your lawnmower, your weed eater, if you've ever done that and had a hard time starting it, that's because that gas starts to break down and those particles and deposits get up in the gas lines and clog them up your stuff doesn't run. This, I'm about to fire it up, hasn't been cranked in six months. It has no ethanol gas in it. It's gonna be a good example why you should only use no ethanol gas as much as possible, especially in anything carbureted. So, whew, even the plug, it's got spider webs all over it. So I'm gonna unplug this thing. Battery should be fully charged. It's going to be a cold start and hasn't run in six months, so I have to choke it here. I'm going to hold the choke wide open, turn the gas twice, and hit the starter. There you have it guys, no ethanol gas, 
what you should be using whenever you can. Especially if you can get it not much more expensive than the regular gas. You're going to get better gas mileage and it's going to be better for your vehicles. Your fuel systems are going to last longer. longer. You're going to have less problems. So. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. Stay tuned for future videos. Hootie Hoo!